Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK, my channel is Seekology. And finally, finally, finally today, I am at Kuala Ganda Elephant Bee Center here at Thermalo Pahang. It is situated within the ground of Krau Wildlife Reserve Park and it was opened in 1989 and it is run by the Malaysian Department of Wildlife and National Park. I am a huge, huge elephant fan and this is one of a kind conservation center, the one and only in Malaysia. And this place has always been in my bucket list. I'm super excited in this video. So let's explore this conservation center. So you can sign up for a nature private conservation tour and Izwan is my guide today and Izwan is going to bring me to the place where they feed the elephant. So we're going to the place where you can uh, buy the feeding for the elephants. Hi miss. So satu ikat tiga ringgit. So you can buy the sugar cane for 3 ringgit and one, one looks like this. So I'm gonna get one. Okay, I'm getting two. Okay. So that is Ayu, Ayu. and Shia. She Ayu. is from Johor and she's 32 years old. 37. 37. Oh, yeah, ini lepa. Lepa, dia pun bertini juga. Oh, that. So that young lady is lepa. She's eight years old. And dari mana dia? Lepa ni daripada Teja Lepa Utara. Johor lah. Pahang. Oh, so she's from. Um, she was rescued from the Felda uh, field in Pahang. And she's. Eight years old and she's like so huge. Hi. She sees this and she's coming for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yang datang ni nama dia Nina. Yeah, Nina. Nina. So Nina, Nina is 13 years old and she's from Pahang. Any lepa kan? Okay, so lepa and Nina. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Korek <laughs> dia uh, female dengan male tak? Uh, kadang tak juga. Kadang gabung dengan sekali. Oh. Then dia orang boleh bully sama sama bully sama. tu ada tapi tak tak inilah. Oh, tak ada bully tua muda. Oh, ha tua muda. Ha tua muda. <laughs> Kita asing kan kat sini anak gajah dengan gajah dewasa. <laughs> Oh, so they they shake their heads to just you know make themselves comfortable, and I think this is to air themselves. So the uniqueness of the Asian elephant is they have two uh, bumps on their heads. Whereas African elephants only have like one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't know the age of these elephants because they were rescued from the wild. So we can only guess by, you know, um, 
their feet, I think, their hook. <laughs> you. Ah. <laughs> September uh, 9 ke atas 10. Kita buat 3 minggu je operasi. Oh 3 minggu saja. So that's Ganda. He she she's 5 years old and she was born in this center. And she's 5. Most most of the elephants are named after the place they are rescued but Ganda is a special case because she was born here so she bears the name of this place so Izwan told me that uh, actually elephants they don't make noise when they move around because the who I mean their feet are they have special flexible spine so when they move around the forest it's actually very quiet and you don't really even notice if they don't make you know those noises and they walk in silence. One elephant can eat up to 150 kilo of food per day. That's, that's a lot of food. And elephants, they change their teeth in average six times per life. And once they finished changing their teeth more than six times, then they can't grow teeth anymore and they can't eat anymore. And then they, you know, they pass. So another thing about the elephant milk is they actually buy, store buy commercial brand milk powder for these elephant baby elephants and they do trial and error so they buy a certain brand and if the babies are okay with that particular brand then they stick to that particular brand and continue to feed that baby elephants yeah so that's Ellie and her right leg high, right front leg is injured as you can see and they you know they put some supporting structure there and they would change the they would change the strap every six months. Uh, so that that is Amoy and that is Ali, and they're about five years old, also estimate. So that that uh, fake leg is twelve thousand ringgit every six months. So every six months she needs to change, and that will cost. 12,000 ringgit. So each of these elephant has two uh, caretaker and because elephant has a very unique sense of memories, the caretaker has to wear the same color of clothes every day when they approach the elephants. So the elephants know that they are their caretaker. So that's how, actually how intelligent they are and how we know they are intelligent. So behind me is the river where sometimes if the water is tinggia, so when the water is level is high, they will have the elephant bathing in the water that you can watch and film. Um, it, it really depends on the water level and then they will make the decision at two o'clock. So if you want to come and see it, um, the best time is I think one one o'clock you come and then you can see if they make the decision to have the elephants in the water. Okay, that's my tour at Guala Ganda Elephant Conservation Center. 
and I hope you visit this place and I hope you uh, you can you know contact Izwan if you need a private tour and uh, I urge you to come here or to donate to the center um, they always needed money see you in my next video stay safe bye